What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back for another Walk Tar Wednesday, and we're back with more from 1997's Lackluster Me by Savoy. And the next tune is just Rain. My first thought when I saw it is like, oh, there's some aha uh -huh tracks that relate to Rain. Like, is this another one that's going to have a riff or a motif or some piece that was later used in an aha uh -huh track? So it does feel like a number of tunes I've been going through, either from Mags or indeed from Savoy, are either different versions of an aha uh -huh tune or feature components that were later used in an aha uh -huh track. So um, that was my first thought when I saw this. Like, oh no, like, is this going to be another one where... I sort of recognize it sonically, but I, you know, don't place it properly, so, you know, I didn't articulate in the previous videos, but who knows, it might just be a completely original track. Uh, either way, rain sets an atmosphere, um, it suggests a tonal feeling. Obviously, rain can be um, purifying or cleansing, and there could be, you know, positive metaphors related to rain, but oftentimes they speak to troubled skies in an emotional and psychological sense and um, <clears throat> you know feelings of uncertainty and you know gloomy um, attitudes so let's see what Savoy has to say about rain this is from the 1997 album lackluster me and the track is indeed rain
but yeah, a really sweet tune. I'm not quite sure uh, what it's about uh, lyrically, um, but I do have to mention, like, you know, all three guys in AHA can really sing. Obviously, Morden is sort of this unparalleled vocal god, but both Mags and Paul can really sing well, and this tune, I think Paul, like, really hit the the sweet higher parts quite well. Um, and yeah, it had a lot of atmosphere. I mean, the, the scene set was very vivid. He's talking about empty streets and the rain coming through the trees. And it's like, you know, it really sets a visual um, palette. And then ultimately, um, the atmosphere of the tune itself, it felt like a, a coldish day with the rain coming down. And, you know, you're thinking about things and perhaps, um, you know, translating the atmosphere that you're, like, the exterior atmosphere in into the interior, but um, I didn't catch enough of the specifics to really get a sense of um, what's happening lyrically, but um, I really did like the atmosphere of that one, and it was a, a great sonic fit to the concept of rain, you know, however metaphorical or indeed just um, scene-based uh, the rain was, um, and I did like opening with the rain, it sounded like footsteps too, but um, you know, it sort of immediately takes you into the environment that is then part of the, the lyrics. So yeah, top tune. Uh, once again, shout out to Graham. Um, I really do appreciate it. As well as all the folks sharing AHA, which, you know, maybe more than any other group has been the most number of people. I mentioned, um, you know, as I go through Savoy and I go through AHA, especially now that we've gone through all the studio albums, there is some jumping around here and there. Um, you know, I try to keep it semi-logical, um, but I was, um, going to mention that my plan for AHA is to keep going through the remainder of the uh, Unplugged album and then perhaps jump back and get more of those really early um, hunting high and low bonus tunes. So yeah, that's the plan for the immediate uh, future for AHA. Do let me know what you think of this Savoy track and I will see you almost surely on Friday for a, um, a Furu Holman Friday. I was going to say a Mags Friday and my brain was like, no, that doesn't make sense. In any case, uh, let me know what you think. I'll see you then. Peace.